Welcome to the demo of Traffic Data Analytics developed for Microsoft Corporation by Third Eye Consulting Services. This demo will walk through as to how we harnessed Hadoop technologies to crush through traffic data to develop both real-time configurations and what-if scenarios of traffic conditions during any selected date and time. The times, they are a changing. Bob Dylan's lines have never been more true than today. These days, while government budgets for infrastructure planning and development is getting smaller, traffic is getting bigger. While traffic data sizes are increasing exponentially, cost of compute and storage of this data is decreasing dramatically. In these changing times, we found that the top two priorities of city, manage, uh, city traffic management personnel are public safety and traffic flow. For such reasons, the Department of Transport collects huge amounts of data from various sources like traffic sensors, traffic cameras, etc. This data over time becomes huge, so huge that analyzing them is impossible in traditional systems. Microsoft's answer to such big data challenges is Hadoop on Azure. Third Eye developed a system using Microsoft technologies which enables a traffic planner to model scenarios for research and analysis. Our system is based on Hadoop and Azure which has the ability to analyze huge data sets and run predictive algorithms which builds predictive capabilities. It gives the user the ability to model what if scenarios by testing different algorithms on various data sets in many different permutations and combinations. Hadoop on Azure or Windows Server is Hadoop is ideally suited for such what-if scenarios. These analyses are performed by Department of Transport traffic engineers who need to make traffic management decisions that will impact the future of the area. So, so you see here and what if user interface that a traffic engineer can use. The key factors that traffic planners use in modeling a future traffic pattern across an area is, eco is economic growth over a period of time. So in this system, we have the ability to model a rate of economic growth by simply sliding this control. We see that by sliding the years into the future control, the traffic condition changes to reflect the new model. It's important to also model in negative growth scenarios. Based on this analysis, we can conclude that finite investment dollars should go into the red areas if we predict the future economic growth to be around 2%. Real-time configurations. We look at our traffic simulator as a Department of Transport knowledge worker would. A red road segment denotes a bottleneck occurring right now. If we click on the red road segment and project into the future, by simply sliding this control, we can see that most other surface streets are caught up in the bottleneck, except for the Bellevue Redmond Road. We can now route traffic through the less congested routes by informing drivers about it via mobile updates, uh, Twitter alerts, etc. We calculated the correlations of bottlenecks for a road segment with every other nearby road segment in 5-minute buckets. 
This allowed us to better predict the effects of a bottleneck on surrounding areas. The data processing portion of the project consisted of the following components Hadoop, HDFS, MapReduce, Cascading, HBase. Hadoop's file system, HDFS, houses all the raw traffic data. We developed the following MapReduce jobs Time buckets, time offset windows, bottleneck detection, cross product, correlation calculation. The front end is supported on HTML and jQuery with several other APIs. Thank you for watching the demo on traffic data analytics.